Well, let's talk now to Iman Abu Gaga, who's a British Sudanese doctor who managed to flee Sudan and arrived in the UK today with the help of the French Embassy. And, and she is joining us from Manchester. Uh, good to see you. Thank you for talking to us on what's clearly been a, an enormously uh, busy day for you arriving back in the UK from Sudan. Uh, how did you uh, find yourself in Sudan in the first place? I was visiting family. Uh, went for the end of Ramadan, celebrate uh, professional achievement, and to attend the Eid celebrations. And while you were there, how close uh, was the fighting uh, to where you were in Sudan? At our doorstep. Uh, the shelling was all around us, the bullets in our house, so it was very close. So obviously incredibly scary, and uh, you knew you wanted to get out. I did want to get out, um, and my children were there as well, so um, it was very harrowing. So you obviously found yourself there uh, for a period of time before you were able to leave. Uh, what was the situation like? It was dire. Um, I was at the airport. I was going to go for a few days to perform a pilgrimage in Mecca, and uh, when the shelling and the shooting started it started in the airport or oh, well that was one of the points where they started and I had to make a very difficult decision as to what I was going to do now so I escaped from the airport and crossed the road uh, amidst gunfire took a uh, shelter at my aunt's house um, and then the next day I walked from my aunt's house which is a considerable difference to the family home to be with the children and my parents who were all sheltering together, including my sister who lives in her own home and my brother who lives in his own home with his children. And at one point there were 12 people in the house. Uh, the house was big enough, there was space, but um, we were running out of supplies because of the power cuts in that temperature. The food started to go bad, the freezers were melting, and we knew that it was not a situation that was safe anymore. So found myself evacuating from the airport, evacuating from my aunt's house, and then now evacuating from my parents' house. And we went and stayed. There were six households in my sister's uh, home, and um, we managed to get by. Um, but at some point, it was getting difficult. We had no cash to buy supplies. The banking uh, apps weren't working, so you'd go to the grocery store and you wouldn't be able to buy the necessities you need. Um, we tried to remain as positive as possible, just try to keep our spirits up and shelter uh, when the missiles fell. Um, but obviously, uh, very... sorry to interrupt you, obviously through this time you, you wanted to leave. Uh, how did that come about in the end? So we registered with the uh, Foreign Office and we kept getting email alerts every day stating that the government doesn't yet have a plan and just general advice on what to do in warfare, shelter, don't go out, things like that. My son is an Irish citizen and on the Sunday morning he received a message to go to the French, emb to the French Embassy. So. Um, I, I knew that I had to get him and his younger sister out, so uh, we drove them there and managed to get them into the embassy. When we arrived at the embassy, there was a gentleman being carried in on a mattress. He was uh, severely injured. And I told the uh, soldier at the door, I'm a doctor, do you guys need any help? And he just ushered me in. Once inside the embassy, I uh, spoke to the consul and um, said to him, I'm here to bring my children, but I'm going to leave now. And he said, no, you don't have to. You're a British citizen. You can stay. So it was a massive, massive relief. It was so very kind of them. Clearly an enormously difficult experience. Uh, how are your family doing now? Not, not too good. Um, we'd gone in addition to everything I mentioned earlier because my father is ailing. He's not well. And at the moment, we have left the most vulnerable behind. Everybody we have left behind is um, suffering from one or other medical condition. And it is just the most heartbreaking decision I've had to make in my life. Well, we wish you and your family all the best. And thank you so much indeed for sharing your experience with us today. That's Iman Abu Gaga, who uh, fled Sudan mm -hmm. and has arrived back in the UK today.